True peace, kins, and kinnets. I am back at y'all with another one. And if you're trying to stay ahead of the game, man, you should go ahead and subscribe to Peep the Slang. I know y'all miss me, man. I haven't done an article in a minute, but I'm still alive and I'm back. And uh, I hope everyone is doing good out there, man, in the digital world. Let's get into this article. Overdue credit card debt. A growing problem in Nevada, new study shows, man, peep the slang. Nevada has the highest credit card delinquency rate in the nation as inflation puts more pressure on household budgets, man. Peep the slang with an average of 3350 in credit card debt per person. Nevada's 90-day delinquency rate climbed to 12% by the end of 2021. Since then, consumers have seen skyrocketing costs for everyday expenses, including groceries and gasoline. The average delinquency rate nationwide was 8.22%, according to a new study of data from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York and Experian. Florida and Arkansas also had double-digit delinquency rates, man. Peep the slang. Nevada has highest credit card delinquency rate, man. Peep the slang. Nevada, we supposed to be doing better than this. Nevada's average credit card debt per person 3,350 was 10th highest with Alaska, 4,070, Hawaii, 3,750, and New Jersey, 3,700, topping the list. Credit problems were bigger in Nevada than any other state during the pandemic. Layoffs hit workers hard in the tourism industries as resorts closed and reopened and leaning staffing. Nationwide, many households weathered the early phases of the pandemic and savings actually grew. Stimulus checks, expanded unemployment benefits, and loan relief took pressure off household finances. Consumers were spending less, too, and shoppers began adapting to buying online and getting things delivered. Man, peep the slang. Credit card debt is making a comeback. Man, peep the slang. Credit card balances in the U.S. declined by more than $120 billion in 2020. And another $28 billion from December 2020 to April 2021. With the amount of credit card debt rising again, car holders are also at risk of failing, of falling behind the payments. The share of credit card debt and serious delinquency remains at historically low levels after declining across 2020 and 2021. But after two straight years of decline, the percentage of newly delinquent Credit card debt rose in the first two quarters of 2022 from 4.1% at the end of last year to 4.70% today, according to the new study, man. The study was published today by Upgraded Points, a website that examines the values of points earned in travel reward programs. You can see the full study states with the highest and lowest credit card delinquency rates. The delinquency rates has grown fast in Nevada since since before the uh, only Alaska and Georgia have seen faster growth, man, peep the slang. The average credit score in Nevada is seven on one, according to the study, placing the state at 39th in the nation, tied with Tennessee. Mississippi was worse at 681, and Minnesota has the highest average credit score at 742, man, peep the slang, man. Nevada, let's get it. I better go pay them credit scores out there.